on November 11th, as I was spending time with the Lord, uh, I found myself meditating on and then uh, professing and confessing, uh, declaring successful outcomes in every area of my life. There were certain things that, um, that were happening. Uh, my husband was in the hospital uh, with a heart issue. Uh, there were, are things happening in this nation, uh, certainly the nation of Israel. Uh, so I was just thinking about uh, outcomes. Uh, an outcome is the way a thing turns out. Uh, so uh, on a personal plane, uh, I had known people, been friends with, or are friends with, uh, people whose loved ones were in the hospital with different uh, issues, and there was not uh, a successful outcome. And, um, and so I was just declaring uh, that in, in uh, this case, in the case of my husband, uh, because he's totally submitted to the Lord, that uh, I just declared there will be uh, a successful outcome. Uh, and in fact, I'm coming to you days later after this, uh, and there was, there is a successful outcome. Uh, we're still waiting to see uh, about outcomes in other events on the world stage. But uh, in your personal life, uh, you, you must posture yourself and, and take uh, the position that, but, that Lord, thank you by your uh, stripes, Jesus, by your finished work uh, on the cross, uh, by our covenant uh, that, that we have together, by your word, there will be a successful outcome in this circumstance. Uh, Joshua, the book of Joshua, Joshua 1 verse 8 tells us, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate upon it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way successful and prosperous, and then you will have success. Or in other words, you'll have a good outcome. We know from Romans 8, 28, that for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, God causes all things to work together for good. Now, that's not a promise to those who don't love the Lord and who aren't called according to his purposes, but it is a promise for you and for me. So God causes all things to work together for our good when we love him. And then I was reminded uh, and, and found myself just declaring uh, Psalm 119, verses 97 through 104. Uh, and this is all about the Word giving us wisdom. Uh, it says in Psalm 119, 97, Oh, how I love thy law or thy word. Indeed, it is my meditation all the day long. Thy commandments make me wiser than my enemies. Notice this. Thy word or thy commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever mine. I have more insight or discernment than all of my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, more than... Uh, all of the, the, the old, uh, the elders uh, of the faith, because I have observed thy precepts. So I started uh, thinking about the word of the Lord, giving me wisdom and keeping me steps, not just one step, but steps ahead of my enemies. Uh, and then I came across a word from Veronica West, uh, a prophet of God who I really uh, uh, think highly of. Um, and the Lord uh, said to her, the spirit of wisdom will bring a supernatural impartation of divine strategy to succeed and overcome every scheme of the enemy in the days ahead. So you can see that it is critical to know the word of God, to hear the voice of the Father, to hear his word. Scripture says that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Father. 
So the word of God is wisdom, the wisdom of God. And of course, the, the, the wisdom, wisdom, uh, the word is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of the Lord uh, will come uh, in greater manifestation in these days uh, and keep us steps ahead of the enemy. Several years ago, Chuck Pierce issued a word saying that it was going to be critical in these days uh, that we're in right now and in the days and years uh, following uh, to listen closely for the word of the Lord in order to avoid snares of death, death. Uh, so posture yourself, spend time with the Lord, learn and read and know his word know his voice my sheep know my voice Jesus said so listen to the voice of the Lord receive the word of the Lord and you will be saved and thrive in the coming days and have great success in Jesus name so be it